Hola chicas, welcome back to my channel. Here we are again with another video and like I did last week where I took it back to the basics and I showed you chicas how to um, prepare your skin for makeup and how to apply your foundation and concealer and all that and basically put on a new layer of skin um, to make it look flawless and all that. Today we're going to focus on the eyes. Today we're going to work on how to apply eyeshadow like a pro. So I'm going to teach you how to apply eyeshadow, how to blend like a pro. I'm going to teach you what tools you need to blend your eyeshadow um, so that, you know, for you chicas out there that don't know how to apply more than one color in your eye, that you're afraid of it, you don't know how to even get started, this is the video for you so you do not want to miss it. And before we get into the video, I just want to quickly remind you, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so and join the fam. That way, whenever I post future videos, you won't miss them um, and you can just keep in touch with me here through YouTube. Also, if you don't follow me on social media and you would like to do so, I'm going to leave my information somewhere in this magic box. And I'm also going to leave it, leave it down below so you can follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. I also do tutorials there. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I also do nails, um, not full time, but I also do nails and I also post pictures on my Instagram. If you're a nail person, definitely go ahead and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Also, if you have Facebook, I do have a Facebook page, but it's a personal page. So I do have a Facebook group that I created um, that it's all makeup related. So if you want to go ahead and follow me there, I'll go ahead and I'll leave my information again somewhere on this magic box and also down below for you guys to follow me if you choose to do that so now for all of you that are makeup beginners that like makeup but don't know how to get started that like eyeshadow but don't know how to apply it this is the video for you and let's go ahead and get started okay so let's take it back to the basics First thing you need is a primer. Go ahead and get yourself a good primer. It could be a drugstore primer. It could be a, a fancy primer. Whatever works for your budget, whatever works for you, just go ahead and get yourself a primer. If you're going to apply eyeshadow and you don't use a primer, you're wasting your time, chicas. I've said this a million times on my videos before. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Mary Kay Eye Primer, which is um, one of my favorites. It's actually inexpensive. I believe it's only like 11 or $12. And I really like the fact that um, my eyeshadow stays on all day. Um, it's, it's a really good product. But there's tons of other eye primers out there. So we're going to go ahead and apply our primer. Now that we have applied our primer, we're going to go ahead and set it with powder. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Um, this is the loose, uh, the loose powder. And I'm going to just take a brush and set that primer in place. You want to set it in place because right now it's very, very tacky. So if you don't set it in place, your eyeshadow, once you start blending it, you're going to get like um, harsh lines and what I call skip lines. Um, and we want to avoid that. So set your primer. Okay, so we have set our primer and now we're ready to apply the eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this little guy right here that came in one of my Ipsy subscriptions a while back. Um, it's from NYX. If you guys don't know NYX, NYX is a great brand. Um, it's very high quality and it's actually very inexpensive. So this is a collaboration they did with Ipsy. So it comes with three different shades. Most of the products you guys buy in the drugstore, um, most of the eyeshadows, they come in duos or trios or quads, right? And then you have the bigger palettes, which comes with like seven, eight, nine colors, depending on the palette. Um, but I think pretty much everyone has one of these where it's like a trio or, or a duo or a quad or something like this. So that's why I decided to work with this one versus one of my bigger palettes. So this come with it comes with this little thing I hear right here, this little sponge. Let me tell you, I hate these things. I hate these things. And people at work make fun of me because they actually use it and I cannot stand it. If you have one of these, please throw it away. Okay? And this is all for my, this is basically for my girls at work. Please throw it away. Okay, so now that we have our eyeshadow, we're going to go ahead and take one of our brushes. So for eyeshadow, what you're going to need is, you're going to need a blending brush. What is a blending brush? Something like this. 
this is a, a blending brush right so if you can see it's it's this dome shape shape and it's perfect for blending on your crease for blending your eyeshadow so you can buy this kind of blending eye, um, brushes and different sizes because depending on the look you're going for and how many eyeshadows you're applying on your eyes you're going to need different sizes right you're going to start with a larger side and then you're going to continue to work your way down to a smaller side so you can size so you can um, work more precisely on your crease and you can have more uh, precise lines um, if you're working on your outer v which is this section right here and you want to um, create more dimension and more depth in there you're going to need a smaller brush but it's all blending brushes now another eye another brush that i highly recommend is a flat brush right so this is a flat synthetic brush this is absolutely necessary for your eyeshadows for your shimmery eyeshadows your foiled eyeshadows the ones that are really shimmery why because this kind of brush is going to pick up the product better and you'll be able to apply it better on your eyelids more pigmentation right and you won't even have to use um like a setting powder fix plus anything like that to wet your brush because this brushes right here they pick up a lot of product another brush that i highly recommend is a just a regular eyeshadow brush which is something like this this is a it's not really flat it's kind of fluffy but it's not a blending brush like this one okay so it is more flat at the top so this is great to apply your eyeshadow on your brow bone up here and it is great to apply eyeshadow on your mo on your lid right here okay so these are the three brushes that I highly recommend that you be that you start with this right here if you're not going to use anything shimmery for the moment you can even start with these two right here blending brush and just a regular eyeshadow brush okay really really need that um there's plenty of other brushes we can get into them in another video but this is just for beginners i don't want to overwhelm you so focus on just these two brushes right here which will be the ones that we're going to use okay so now your eyes they're divided in three sections let's divide well let's let's start with three sections let's start with your brow bone right here let's start with your let then your crease right here and then your lid okay once you get used to that you can move to your outer v you can move to your inner corner all of that but for now we're going to focus on those three areas right there brow bone crease and lid okay so let's start with that so we're going to go ahead and take our blending brush that i mentioned earlier and I'm going to go ahead and take this medium shade right here, which is just like a light brown shade. We're going to take that color and we're going to work that on our crease. So I'm just going to dip it in there. Tap, tap, always tap the excess. And I'm going to place it on my crease right here. And I'm going to start back and forth motion. Okay, just back and forth, back and forth until we are satisfied with the color. Now, once we have that, we want to blend even farther because right now it looks blended, but we still can blend a little bit more on top, right? So we're going to, now I'm going to move into circular motions and circular motions are going to help me blend the product even more. And it's going to help me kind of move the product a little bit. As I am blending it, I can move it upward just a bit because I have a lot of um, lid space. I want to make sure that I use all of it. And circular motions and back and forth until you are completely satisfied with how the product is blended and the color that you have. If you want a darker shade, you go ahead and dip more and blend it, blend it up and build it up, right? So I'm happy with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye real quick. Okay, so now that I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the black shade right here. And I'm going to use the same brush. Again, this video is all for my beginners. So I'm not going to make you go out and buy a whole bunch of products. Same brush. Just a tip, we're going to dip it in here. I don't know how pigmented this black is. I've actually never used this trio before. So I don't want to go too, um, I don't want to tap it too hard in there. So we're going to focus on 
this section right here which is still our crease but it's more of the outer one we're just going to create some dimension right if you want to go for an easy easy very easy piecey look all you're going to do now is take this lighter shade right here and apply it on your lid apply a little bit on your brow bone and you're done and you're actually done and you can actually tell that you spend some time on your makeup okay it's not just one color it's not just dipping your finger and putting it on there as i know some people do um it's actually work right um but i want to go a little farther just a bit farther because i know you girls can do it again dip in there focusing it on the outer v okay just a bit and it's actually very pigmented so i'm not going to use that much of it and i'm just going to use whatever product i have with the, on the brush and i'm just going to blend it Okay, and now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and take this lighter shade right here. And I'm going to apply it on my crease, on my lid, I'm sorry. So this color doesn't have much pigmentation. And I'm going to take a bit more and apply it on my brow bowl. And we are actually done. Only three colors, okay? We use all three colors. If you wanted to use two, you could just use two. Um, I just wanted some more depth in there in the outer corner. We use only three colors. We use only two brushes. And look at the um, eyeshadow look that we just created and of course now if you wanted to apply wing liner and you feel comfortable with it go ahead and do so um, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes and my eyebrows off camera because that's not what this video is about it's not about my lashes or the um, eyebrows but this is the look so I'll be right back okay chica so I've done my eyebrows I've applied my mascara and I've applied my lipstick um, love this shade by the way it's a wet and wild um, cat suit I believe it's called I will put the information on the box below so you guys can look at it um, and see if you guys like it as well so this is the final look as I said before so simple to create only two brushes used only three eyeshadows used total and you can use two if you choose not to make this outer corner so intense um, you know, so for all of you beginners out there, I got you girls, I got you. I will create more looks, you know, um, simple for you guys to recreate, for you guys to play with. And then once you're more comfortable, then you can definitely go look at some of the other videos that I've created with, you know, the glitter, the cut crease, the, the halo eye, you know, all of that. So definitely stay tuned to my channel for more videos to come back to the basics again ladies all month long this is all back to the basics i'm taking it back for all of you chicas that really like makeup and have no idea where to get started well this is the channel for you um only for this month that's what i'll be focusing on back to the basics so i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope you guys stay tuned for the next video if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i will see you on my next video bye